so your career came full circle. I mean, in the end, you taught some back more. In, back in the classroom. Why? Well, it was a mutual decision at the time. We'd had the faculty strike. There was a lot of faculty administrative conflict. Uh, we had a new president who was going to straighten the matter out. And uh, everybody was voicing their complaints about the system. And I think uh, when I was reassigned to the classroom, within a year or so, almost all the administrators were, on the academic side at least. And, uh, you know, if I had been a trustee, I probably would have said, yeah, that's probably what we've got to do. And uh, it was the only, it uh, gave me some tenure problems. My kids were in high school, and like any other high school upper grade father, I don't, I don't want to have to move out of town. I want to stay here. I like, I like this school. I like doing what I'm doing. And teaching uh, presented a brighter side. But that, in fact, is how it happened. So was that fulfilling for you? We talked earlier about, you know, the six-year rule for you. <laughs> about every six years you had to do something different. Well, I probably, you know, it's never one-sided. There's always some truth on both sides of every issue. And I think maybe having to leave administration in part was my doing, part was my fault for not having lost some of the enthusiasm for it and uh, partly it was just the way things happened. <laughs>